Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International New Computation on 22 Hours channel, the channel that provides useful information and continuously updates the last news on a daily basis, including the situation in the SCs. Today, we have the following main contents. Dear valued audience, according to a report from China News Service, over the past two days, Heavy rain has caused flooding and landslides in various areas of Leshan City, Sichuan Province. Local firefighting forces dispatch 107 officers and soldiers to the scene to rescue those in distress. A total of 58 individuals were trapped, while 221 people were safely evacuated. On the evening of the previous day, a sudden heavy downpour struck Long Mod and district of Leshan, causing flooding in the Ngokdai area of the Carbon Black Factory resulting in multiple people being trapped. Following this natural disaster, 18 officers and soldiers from the Leshen Special Team swiftly arrived at the scene with rescue ropes, lighting equipment, and other tools to successfully rescue and evacuate 19 individuals to a safe area. That night, Tuvan District also experienced heavy rainfall, causing the river water to rise. The road leading to the residential area under Thangloi Bridge in Tuvan was submerged, and many people were trapped. Firefighters and rescuers used rescue equipment to create a path for rescue operations from the second floor, successfully rescuing 30 individuals who were trapped. At a large bridge in the outskirts of the city, the river water surged, submerging some houses and leaving many individuals trapped. Firefighters and rescuers used rubber boats to successfully rescue five people stranded in the flooded area. In Sunte Street, Homes were flooded due to the rising river water, and some residents were trapped in their houses. Firefighters successfully rescued 21 individuals who were trapped. According to weather observations from Leshen Meteorological Observatory, heavy rain began on Sunday afternoon and affected districts such as Jingyang, Longmadam, Nashi, Tuvan, Hajong, and Luan Leshen City. By 11.15 p.m. on Sunday, a yellow rainstorm warning was upgraded to an orange rainstorm warning, which remained in effect until 7.31 m on Monday. The large rainstorms mainly concentrated in the central and southern parts of Tuvin, the northwest of Kolam, and parts of Napte, Jingyang, and Hajong. In total, there were 87 stations with moderate rain and 44 stations with heavy rain. Rainfall measurements included 107.3 mm in Din Duong Kong, 93.3 mm in Long Madam, 136.5 mm in Napte Cuba, 80.9 mm in Lu Taifuk, 125.1 mm in Hajong Duba Kwakton and Ham, 170 mm in Wavan Trendong, and 153 mm in Gulen Arobambu Paradise. The torrential rain led to the collapse of several roads in Leshen, with roads washed away and disrupted road traffic. The local authorities are working tirelessly to combat flooding and rescue damaged roads. Official WeChat accounts reported that the region was affected by air currents from the southwest, leading to heavy rainfall in the south and west of Yinjiang County, Dihong Province, and Yinan Province. Among them, 310.1 mm of prolonged rainfall was recorded in Langzuli Village, Taiban Town. As of 5 o'clock yesterday, a preliminary assessment indicated that a total of 15,800 households in five towns and one rural settlement in Yinjiang County, Taiban Town, Nongtrong Town, Dongbai Kwan Town, Taimot Town, and Nam Town were affected by the natural disaster. Two people were killed, and four sustained minor injuries. 120 houses were damaged. 82.11 hectares of flowers were affected, 46.39 hectares were damaged, and 26.6 hectares were destroyed. 19 rural water facilities were damaged. Three main roads were sealed off. The disaster also caused damage to several power and communication facilities. After the disaster, Dekong Province and Yinjiang quickly implemented Level 2 emergency response, mobilizing over 3,000 rescue personnel to conduct urgent rescue and disaster relief operations. They successfully rescued 19 trapped individuals and evacuated 825 people from 201 households to emergency shelters. The upper reaches of the Yangtze River experienced high water levels, and Ngitan and Leshen were hit hard by flooding. Early yesterday morning, the Ngitan section of the Qinshou River in Sichuan province reached its flood peak, 
with the water level reaching 280.28 meters, surpassing the guaranteed water level by 1.28 meters. Yesterday, people monitored the water levels at the confluence of the Manjiang River, Qingxia River, and Yangtze River in Yibin, Sichuan. At 11 am yesterday, the heavily flooded Duongtu section of the Yangtze River in Leshen City, Sichuan Province, surpassed its flood peak, causing flooding in parts of the Leshen urban area. Rescue teams transferred stranded individuals from the Long Modem District, Leshen City, Sichuan Province, which was severely flooded, to temporary safe shelters. Yesterday morning, the water discharge from the upper reaches of the Yangtze River increased to 46,000 cubic meters per second. According to the latest forecast from the Flood and Typhoon Control Agency, the flood peak with a flow rate of about 70,000 cubic meters per second is expected to reach the Tam Heap Dam at around 8 p.m. today, with a scale equivalent to the largest flood event in 2010. The ongoing rainstorm in the Daichao area of the city started on Tuesday evening. As of 8 a.m. on Thursday, there were 129 rainfall stations in the city recording over 50 millimeters of rainfall, with 10 stations exceeding 100 millimeters. The highest recorded rainfall was 141.8 millimeters in Haiyanhan, Danvan. Flooding in Bokha and Kukjong was caused by heavy rainfall in the watershed passing through the urban area of Kwa Tian on Thursday morning. At 5 p.m. on Wednesday, the flood peak water level at the Bokha Fuang Dam hydrological station was 297.42 meters with a peak flow rate of 11,900 cubic meters per second. At the Kukjong Sanhoi Hydrological Station at 3 m on Thursday, the flood peak water level was 257.72 meters, with a peak flow rate of 15,600 cubic meters per second. In the Kwa Tian urban area at 8.30 m on Thursday, the flood peak water level was 245.50 meters, with a corresponding peak flow rate of 16,400 cubic meters per second. It is known that the flooding submerged and inundated seven towns in the Zhongling Township, Kielon Township, Shidi Township, BAC Mu Township, Kwatin City, Sunhui Township, Tuxi Township, and Lido Township in the Daitian district of Kwatin City. The flood waters reached depths of 2 to 6 meters. The water levels have since receded in these areas. Yesterday, the Fukhai River in Futuan District and Tukong City in southern Sichuan Province experienced rising water levels, with the Dankan Kwan Township submerged in vast waters. The heavy rainfall over the past few days has caused serious disasters in Tukong, Ngitan, Leshen, and other cities in southern Sichuan, resulting in significant damages to residents. Leshen City faced its most severe flood in 50 years. At 6 p.m., a group of reporters from the China News Agency arrived at the scene of the heavy rain and flooding in Leshen City, Sichuan Province. The highest flood peak reached 19.62 meters, which was 3.12 meters higher than the guaranteed water level of 16.50 meters. A family's home in the Dankan Kwan area of Futuan District was flooded, and their belongings were being evacuated. Due to continuous heavy rainfall in the upper reaches, Futuan District, Dankan Kwan, and other areas in Sichuan province experienced flooding, submerging low-lying areas on the streets and causing serious damage to some houses and riverside businesses. Currently, the flood peak has passed through Futuan district successfully, and the water level is gradually receding. Some houses in the historic Dankan Kwan Street in Futuan, Sichuan province, were flooded. Dear all, on Wednesday, heavy rain struck many areas in Trinkant, causing water levels in numerous rivers to exceed the warning levels. This resulted in flooding in towns, destruction of roads and houses, and even the washing away of bridges. As a result, both road and railway transportation have been disrupted, forcing nearly 5,000 residents to leave their homes due to the flooding. According to official media outlets of the People's Republic of China, heavy rain occurred in various parts of Trinkan from 8 p.m. on Tuesday. The rain affected 24 districts and counties, including Vanshao, Trinktian, and Taesun, with 16 of them experiencing heavy rain. Vanshao was hit by an extremely severe rainstorm, leading to the evacuation of over 4,500 residents. As a consequence of the heavy rainfall, the water level of the Kwai Zhong River continued to rise. By 11 am on Wednesday, 
The water level at the KY Jong and Dingo Chow Hydrological Stations in the Jongtan District reached 198.64 meters, exceeding the warning level by 0.13 meters. The second flood of the year on the KY Jong River has formed. On Wednesday, the Trinkan Hydrological Monitoring Station issued a yellow flood warning for the KY Jong River in the Jongtan District. Local residents reported that within half an hour, thousands of shops and houses along the Ingokyu River were engulfed by the flood waters. Due to the impact of heavy rainfall, the Elvesi and Sungsi rivers in the Jongtan District, the Tonghui and Dante rivers in the KY Jong District, the Hu Jong River in the Fuklin District, the Jiagao and Chuanhat rivers in the Funki District, and the Ingokyu and Moda rivers in the Vanshao District, as well as 10 other rivers including the Kinam River exceeded their respective warning levels. According to another report, Trinkan and Vanshao were hit by heavy rain, causing flooding in various areas such as Tronglang and Ingokyu. The flood submerged a town, an overpass, and several factories. A paint factory in Tronglang, Vanshao district, was submerged under 2 to 3 meters of water, causing severe damage to equipment and materials. Videos shared by netizens show flood waters overflowing the embankments, rushing into towns, turning streets into rivers, submerging vehicles, and inundating the ground floors of many buildings. People appear to be swimming and waving for help in the floodwaters. The videos depict the force of the floodwaters sweeping away roads and even carrying off some houses. According to another report, at around 7.48 am on Wednesday, due to continuous heavy rainfall in the Vanshao district of Trincan, some piers of the Cebu River Railway Bridge between Ngok BAC Sun and Lakthin stations on the Van Luong Railway were damaged by flooding, causing partial collapse of the railway bridge. The railway authorities had to reroute trains passing through this area, resulting in detours, turnarounds, or temporary halts. A video shows the collapse of the Thien Hung Bridge, disrupting National Road 318, the expressway, and the railway. Yesterday evening, a landslide occurred in Tu Tram, Vanshao District, Trinkan City, resulting in the loss of six lives, including three children. According to reports from official media outlets of the People's Republic of China, around 8 p.m. yesterday, a landslide in Tu Tram, Vanshao District, Trinkan City, caused several houses to collapse and resulted in multiple casualties. Town officials in Feng Shui confirmed that six people died, belonging to two families, consisting of three adults and three children. According to reports, the government has established four working groups, including a group for handling aftermath, a group for maintaining stability, and an investigation team. A local resident clarified, it wasn't two families, only one family was involved, with three children deceased, one of whom was not their biological child, along with three adults. Local residents recounted, the elderly and children were buried, and despite excavators digging all night, they couldn't uncover them. Right here, we ran about 110 to 120 kilometers last night, and we went to see it this morning. A video posted by netizens shows that last night, a landslide occurred in Tu Tram, Vanshao District, Trinkan City, burying a house, and a day before, in Trinkan, another tragedy occurred as something fell from the sky, causing six casualties. A bus in Trinkan was unexpectedly hit by a rock rolling down the mountain, the roof of the bus was struck directly, resulting in a large hole, leading to six fatalities and nine injuries on the spot. That concludes today's news update. Please leave any contributions or comments in the comment section. If you found this helpful, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell icon. Thank you for your attention and see you again. That way, the detailed summary of the key highlight of the day from 22 Hours Channel. Thank you all for paying attention and staying tuned until the end of this video. Please leave a comment in the comment section below for us to respond in the timeline menu. Goodbye and see you again in the next video.